What's going on, everybody? I'm DJ Sixsmith. You're watching the sit down. One of the freshest faces in Hollywood. It's Lovey Simone. How are you? I'm good. How Very are nice you? Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Good to have you back in New York also. Yes, it's, glad. it's good to be back. Because <laughs> you were how many years in the Bronx? 15, uh, 16? Somewhere around there? 16, yeah. 17, yeah. <laughs> but now you're in Atlanta. Now, you're, you're, well, 18 years. 18? I was okay. born and raised, yeah. I just but New Yorker at heart. New Yorker at heart, always. <laughs> I mean, you work with a ton of different people. What makes the difference between a New Yorker and people who are like LA transplants, Atlanta transplants? What, what's what's unique about New Yorkers? I'm, I feel like it's the mindset you have to have in New York. You kind of have to think on your toes and all the time. So it's kind of like you're always reasoning. I find that with a lot of New York people, we have a lot of common sense. I would like to say. Got to be scrappy, right? Exactly, and you got <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so I would say that also, just the attitude. I feel like New Yorkers are naturally more confident because like. New York is so real, I feel like, compared to other places. Like, you get, like, the gritty people and the people that, like, are wanting to work and just be there. And you just have to be on. You never know yeah. what you're going to see in the streets. You never, never know who you're going to have to go around in the streets <laughs> also. <laughs> exactly. Because yeah. everywhere else, it's like you're getting in an Uber, you're getting in a car. Like, people yeah, aren't really walking on the streets as much. Yeah, but for me, I was taking trains all the time, right. too, so. Yeah, and that subway life is different than anything else. It's, it's hot. It's yeah. hot. It's Especially definitely in the hot. summer. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not good. And then if you go to Europe, so I've been to Paris, mm -hmm. they leave the vents open. So imagine like a New York City subway, but like with the windows open. You'd think like, oh, oh that wouldn't be so bad, but actually it smells even worse because all the smells are just going Ooh. all the way through. I yeah. can't imagine that. Yeah, but like New York has the most efficient <laughs> subway system. That's the, that's the irony that's of the, the situation. Part, yeah. <laughs> so how's life going for you? You got Life's Greenleaf <laughs> life right, right now. You got a lot of other cool things yeah, going. Yeah, I have so what's Greenleaf. There? I have Share, which is now on HBO. Mm -hmm. Selling the Spades, which is going to Amazon, mm. which is really cool. Uh, that was like my first time like being a lead in a movie. Yeah, so yeah. that's going to be interesting for me to watch. What was the biggest difference in terms of being a lead compared to just being on something? I mean, being a lead, you kind of are there for almost every scene, and it's kind of like about you in mm -hmm. a way, so it's kind of like everything is revolving around you, so you kind of have to always be there. I've kind of been there, and, and the amount of lines that you have to learn mm. is crazy, <laughs> but like I feel like with Selling the Spades, I definitely got it down packed. Like I have a little flow to how I kind of memorize now, but being a lead is a lot more work. It's just you do everything. Yeah, it's a big responsibility. When yeah. you're number one on that call sheet, everybody's looking at you. Yeah, but I mean, it's, it's, it's also like a group effort too. Totally. It's just, <clears throat> yeah, sometimes being in front of that camera <laughs> and having to say like two pages worth of dialogue mm. is crazy. Yeah, <laughs> I bet it is. Mm -hmm. So, Winding It Back, I know That's So Raven was one of your big time shows growing up. I mean, can't blame you. Obviously yeah. a great watch, right? Yeah. What was it specifically <laughs> that got you going with acting and watching that show? I mean, it was just like everything was like so colorful in that show, and I feel like I was really attracted to like all of the the fun that it looked like it promised. You know, like acting seemed like it was just like so much like jokes and lively people, and that's exactly what I what it is. Like what I realized going into the acting industry, like it's just so many people with so many different personalities. I definitely feel like being an actor. I had to grow up a little faster mm. than other people because you're just given so much and it's like time doesn't even matter anymore, you know? So it's like, wow, I'm just taking, 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 taking and I'm seeing all these things and it's beautiful. When did you start to sense that you'd have to grow up a little bit quicker than everybody else? When I got Greenleaf mm -hmm. is when I kind of sensed that only because I did, I acted, but it was a job still, right. so it was like I was obligated to be there at certain times and like be up at like three, four in the morning and like be out of the out of like my work day at like ten PM. So that was that for me. Yeah, it's not <laughs> like rolling into high school yeah, or college or anything yeah. like that. Because honestly, like when I was in high school, I was definitely the kid that was like, if I'm tired when I wake <laughs> up <laughs> I'll take a mental health day, I'm right? Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm gonna chill. Like, I'm just gonna stay in bed and I'm <coughs> Sick. Yeah, you're faking sick exactly, for sure. Exactly, but you can't do that no, in the no. real world, so. Yeah, you got a little more on the line than just yeah. uh, math class first period. <laughs> exactly. So, you mentioned the fact that you are super young when you first get Greenleaf. Yes. What have the last couple of years been like in terms of just you growing as a person? I consider Greenleaf as my college experience because hmm. it has the four, the, four season, right. the four seasons, like the four years of high school, I feel like it's been like each year I've learned something like key important. So like the first year was like the basics. And then the second year I was able to kind of work around like my acting. And then the third year I was kind of able to live in it and experience so much. And like now it's like, I feel like 
I was developed enough to like be able to go on a set and know what I'm doing and like know what people want from me, how to change direction and all these other things that they expect from you once you step on a set. Right, and I'm sure it's nice for you too because you've had the runway of 40 plus episodes. It's not just bouncing <laughs> yeah. on from one episode doing this part here, but mm -hmm. you really have time to grow things out, which yeah. I'm sure has been a great thing with all the different repetitions you get. No, most definitely has been. That's cool. <laughs> so you guys have a great cast. Obviously, like people are watching Oprah. She's super dope, right? <laughs> yeah. What What is something about Oprah that we wouldn't necessarily know that you've been able to now know, given your experience with her? I don't know. I feel like a lot of people would think Oprah's like, oh my gosh, it's Oprah, it's Oprah, Oprah, Oprah. But when she's there in front of you, it's like, oh, hey, you're a person <laughs> and you're nice and you give warm hugs. Mm. You know, like good hugger. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people with Oprah and like other larger names, like large names they tend to kind of like get like psych themselves up over like their presence and then they forget that these people are literally like just like it's me just and you, human, you know right? and i love that i'm able to see that with her and like see that she's grounded and she's very like stern and like whatever she's doing 